hello welcome to sas media studio in this video i am going to show you how to create a free audp yes a free audp without paying anything okay now i'm assuming you already have an account on aws if you don't have just visit aws okay so you just have to visit aws just this way okay and click on get started for free or you can create aws account okay whatever you choose it goes okay you can still get your free tier you understand so let's wait for it to fully load then you continue from there okay so as you can see so aws free tier so click on create a free account the account is always free so there's no need to add free but anyway that's a strategy all right so now you have to um if you have an existing account why are you here so, so you have to sign up so you have to enter your email enter your uh, account name any name that you want to use for this account all right then you have to use your name let's say i show have all right so just fill in the information so your, your email and your name okay click on verify email so yes a code will be sent to your email just go and check the that code and come back and enter the code over here at this section so as you can see so the email is here just click on it all right so just have to copy this code okay verification code over here just copy it then you come to it then paste it then click on verify if you don't receive it just click on re 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 resend okay now you have to type in a password that you remember any password okay all right so you have to type a password and repeat the password okay click on continue i can use it for business or personal just to personal then you just enter your name all right so nketia so nketia means uh, then you have to add your phone number then you add your you select your country then you select your you just have to continue from here all right so let me just key in using any phone number temp phone all right so i'm going to use uk so uk uk united kingdom okay here is it so let me paste my number over here let me remove the four four so select united kingdom all right so any address um any address uk address all right so uh something like uh two davis lane all right the city okay so the city is this um state So this is the postal address click on this and click on continue so now uh for the purpose of this video is going to be a very long time okay so you can add your credit card over here no they are not going to charge you so don't worry okay just that's a credit card so you can use new address if this address that you use is just a fake identity just use a new address and use your proper email um bill address for your AWS on your credit card you understand so I'll create a special video on how to get credit card to create an account you are not going to be deducted from the credit card all right so stay with me okay just if you want me to create that video just leave it at the comment section I want you to teach me how to create an Amazon account and I'm going to do that for you for the purpose of this video it will be very long so I am taking it you have already what registered you understand so now come back to your dashboard now we are going to create an instance okay so first of all you can launch an instance all right so now the question is what are you going to do in this course the procedure so i'm going to highlight then we we will do we do it okay first we are going to create an instance during the creation of an instance you are going to create a security group and what key pair and the key pair we are going to use dot pem okay after that we are going to create an elastic ip address okay so that we connect it to our rdp so that it will be static you can use it for a very long time that is a dedicated ip address so that is it that's what you are going to do in this video all right so now i'm going to click on launch instance so this video will be much easier as compared to the other video that i created all right so now have to give a name to your rdp so second rdp 
so scroll down sorry scroll down now make sure you select windows all right now this is it this is the most important part so be very careful all right when you click on amazon machine image section over here so when you click on this you can see we have free tier free tier free tier free tier free tier all right so you have to choose any of it okay so we have windows server 2022 we have 2023 uh, 2022 rather core base we have um 2019 we have the 2016 we have 2019 uh, yes we have 2016 we have 20 yes i think the smaller one is 2016 now that is so the free tier ends over here now please don't use core base because when you install core base you'll be only using your terminal to access the rdp which you might not need it so make sure any of the ones you choose over here make sure you choose base not core base please oh and make sure you can see free tier over here all right so in this case i want 2016 base so i'm going to select this it's still under the free tier so they have written it over here free tier all right so that is it that is it okay so scroll down go and create your key pair click on create key pair. just name it second any name that you want okay all right and make sure it is on dot pm dot pm okay and click on create key pair so when you create a key pair the name that i'm going to use make sure you don't give space you can give you can use underscore to 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 serve as space you understand or just write it in addition if the words are two two or three you can use underscore to separate them and that's all so for instance oh, there's no need all right i've already created no need to go and create a new one so that's what i want you to know all right so make sure you select all these three all right this is the security group you so that is the port that is the um the whole the the space you are giving out you understand when it comes to the security sections so what i saying is that all the rdp traffic should be able to uh, pass through this your rdp instance that you are creating i don't really understand but i'll make a special video talking about only the security group so please if you want to leave it at the comment section i'm going to attend to it very quickly so under the free tier we have 30 gig okay so don't change this don't change this all right don't change it all right so after we are cool all you have to do is just click on launch instance so that is totally free you're not going to pay anything you're not going to pay a dime all right so that is it okay so now our instance has been created so click on connect to instance all right so come to the rdp section so for instance for let's say mistakenly after you 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 created this and you mistakenly cl uh, clicked on instances let me show you how you can still get to the rdp section all right as you can see so this is the instance that we created so okay just select the instance and click on connect and automatically you will brought to this the same page okay when you click on rdp you see everything the same thing all right so that is it so all you have to do is scroll down now you can download this remote desktop so when you just click on it it will open for you to enter your, uh, your username and your password and you access your rtp that's it so that is it so this is your username all right so th this is your username so after that don't worry about ip address you are going to create an elastic ip address and connect to your rdp so that you use that ip address this admin okay or what is the username and the password that we are going to create over here so we are now going to create a password for our rdp so click on get password all right so as you can see you see this section so what you have to do is just click on upload private key file just click on that then the the key pair that you created which is the second that you created select it and click on open then you can see that it will um bring this key over here then click on decrypt password and your password will be displayed over here so this is your password okay so let's keep this work on so this is your password so click here paste this this is your username and paste this so now it's left with the ip address so that we can access our rdp our free rdp all right so that is it so now click on cancel now we are good to go
at the left panel you can see elastic ips okay under the network and security just click on elastic ips so all right so click on allocate elastic ip address so now everything is all set click on allocate so now an, a new IP address has been allocated to us so this is the IP address okay so now before that let's go and check the IP address we were having okay which is or uh, which is associated with the RDP that we created so now uh, let me reload this all right so let me just right click on instances and open so that we check our instance our RDP that we created we are then going to check the IP address which is associated to that um, uh, okay the reason why we are creating elastic IP is because we want a static a dedicated IP address and IP address will, will not change okay so that is why we want to change this so when I click on this so you can see that the IP is 13.58 right so we are going to allocate this 18.21 to this instance all right so let's go back so i go to the instance you can see the one you created a second rdp so when i click on it automatically you will see 8 over here 13 right i'm going to then come back to the elastic ip area then click actions and click on associate elastic ip address click on that make sure instance is selected you come to the instance section just click on it just select the instance that you created the rdp that you created what is the second rdp okay it is running so click on select all right so now make sure you click here and select this that is your private key all right so click on that now after you are cool click on associate all right so now this ip address has now been associated to our rdp so you can use this to access our rdp so let first let me copy this and paste it over here all right all right so now let's go back to our instance so now when i refresh and click on the instance you can see that it has now changed to 18 point because first it was 12 and this is the private key i was talking about it was 172 so that is basically how to do it you understand so yes so now um we are done with creating our free rdp now how can you access it okay i know you know how to do it so let me quickly access it so that you know that this rdp is working okay so just search for remote desktop connection just open it okay let me close this let me delete this ip now let me paste this my ip over there all right let me click on connect connect so let me enter my username which is administrator let me add my password the one i generated or i i, I got all right using my keeper so now i'm cool just click on ok let's wait and see yes let's wait and see the magic free rtp we are not paying any amount of money my goodness free as you can see our rdp has been created successfully successfully as you can see personalized settings and other stuff let's wait for it to get to our desktop so that i can close it okay so now this rdp this free rdp that we created yeah we, we are going to get only one gig ram okay and one cpu and a 30 gig okay 30 gig space okay so you can see my network has pop up over here yes uh yes so that is it so that is it okay i can just i can even refresh it so you can see command prompt is showing up i can refresh it so that is it so i can go to the start menu click on start menu this is 2016 yes 2016 you can see i have a lot of stuff over here so that's basically how to let me close this rdp Alright, so this is basically how to create RDP on Amazon AWS. Okay, so please subscribe, like this video if you are enjoying it. If you love it, it's educational. Just give me a subscribe and like this video. And any question, any uh, suggestion you have, leave it at the comment section. Any video you want me to create, leave it at the comment section, and I'm going to attend to that. Let's meet next time. Goodbye.